I, I was fortunate enough to win an Emmy Award for producing that piece, but um, for documentaries. But the one of the best things that was better than actually winning that award was that Billy came to me and, and said afterwards after he saw it that that was the most honest depiction of the band that he'd ever seen. So a typical, a typical day for me in the field, um, well, I'll give you the, the last shoot that I did for the Harvey show for this season was um, Mr. Harvey got his star on the Walk of Fame out in, in Hollywood, um, right about the, the end of May or whatever. So they, they sent me out there. Normally what I have is a crew of people that's going to be, I'm going to have a shooter, I'm going to have a sound guy, I'm going to have my, my associate producer. If it's a little bit bigger shoot, I might have an extra camera and I might have a production assistant. But that's it. We're pretty bare bones. Um, and in most cases, when we're going out into the field, we've never, because of the time and the booking and quick turnaround, we don't even have the opportunity to see where it is that we're going to go shoot or what the lay of the land is or even meet the people in most cases. So you're really kind of thinking on your feet when you get there. You've got a, a script that they want you to write, but in mo a lot of cases when we're doing these reality type things or the situation where I went out with Steve, you can't script it. It's just it's a moment that's happening. You're, you're really kind of more in documentary type mode where you're, you're grabbing the moments that are there, hoping you're getting what you want and doing your best to you know, manipulate that or do what we want to do. So they sent me out on a Sunday night. This was going to happen on Monday morning. Um, I went out there Sunday night. I meet with my crew. I, I talk with them. I tell them what we want to do. I take some notes. I did get an opportunity to see where we were going to shoot it. Um, the next morning, we get out there. Mr. Harvey shows up. They've got uh, Ellen DeGeneres is there, and uh, Dr. Phil is there to do some presenting. I know they're going to want me to get interviews with them. But there's not a whole lot of time to go through the cut through the red tape to talk to these people. So basically, what I have to do is just go out there, see what the moment is, try to anticipate what the needs are back you know, at the studio, and give them the best you know, summation of that particular event that I can do. I, you know, fortunately with, with the Steve Harvey show, which has a little bit bigger budget, I'm, I'm not a one-man band. I'm just, I'm there, I'm, I'm able to produce it and oversee and then I'm kind of, you know, kind of also directing. So I'll have a cameraman, I'll have a DP. But in, in these particular cases, um, it's, you know, you're moving at a moment's notice. I have the cameraman, you know, keep an eye on me because it's like if something happens, it's like we got to get over here and get that. We got to get over and get the, this. And that's what a lot of the stuff is in the field. I mean, if, if you're doing reality television, you know, they call it reality TV, and a lot of it is, is set up. A lot of it is they do, especially when they sit down and do the interviews and that stuff and put them in different scenarios. But there's still, um, there is still the, the, the reality of that. You're, you're moving within that moment and you've got to get what you've got to get. You're not really, you don't have time to set things up. Um, so it's, it's, it's kind of fun. I mean, you, you get out there, and every day is kind of a different job. You're not in the studio. Every assignment is slightly different. Um, and I've had the opportunity to come in and you know, be show producers or uh, uh, bookers for something else. But being in the field, to me, is really exciting to me. I, I like that, it, that, it, that it's changing every day and that there's, there's a, new, a new piece that you're working on all the time. Okay, well that's a good question. So, um, you know, everybody has a different way of, of, of getting into this business. Um, I, I started out in, as an actor, and, but I, had, I got my degree from uh, Western Illinois University in broadcasting, but also was, uh, was, was uh, minoring in theater. 
and came up here and started working and doing comedy and working with Second City. But I, I wanted to, to put on a show myself, so I was able to um, do some video work. I, I did a live show, but I in, incorporated a lot of video in it. And I always kept working um, towards, you know, getting, you know, a gig in the field. So I was always doing, you know, jobs, uh, video work here and there and doing that um, and building up my reel, even though I w didn't have any kind of like, uh, you know, full-time work in the field, bouncing around, doing freelance work whenever I could do it. Um, and then uh, Fox Television was looking for a creative person, which, you know, they're a news, news station, but they were looking for somebody to do something creative and I submitted my work. And um, I was able to walk in as a producer, um, which is kind of unusual. I didn't go through the whole range of being a, you know, a, a production assistant and then an associate producer and then a producer. I just walked in as a producer because of the background I had. But that's kind of unusual. And it was good for me in many ways, but there's also a side of it that my learning curve was different because once I got in there, I was used to doing things the way I was, you know, did them and I got into a Fox television and didn't really understand how all the, all, everything worked because I hadn't really worked inside of a television station before. So it's good to be able to you know, get an internship, you know, work your way up from AP to PA to producer because it really gives you a lot more nuts and bolts. I mean, my, my, the associate producers that I work with right now are stone cold pros. I mean, they will be producers soon and they'll be, re, you know, they'll be great at it. I didn't have a really direct path to where I was going. But it helped me in, in some ways because I worked in a lot of different fields. So I've been able to, to bounce back and forth from film to TV to radio and work in all of those different mediums. So when there was a gig, you know, if I'm losing a, a TV gig, I know I can move into a, a radio gig or I can do something else. Well, I did mostly, I did mostly um, like Second City type improvisational stuff, but I did a few TV shows. I did some Shakespeare. I did the, the, first, uh, the first play that John Hamm from, um, you, anybody watch Mad Men? Lead from at Mad Men? First play that he ever did, I was in with him. Yeah, and we did uh, Midsummer Night's Dream. Hi, I'm Jock Headblade, producer for the Steve Harvey Show, and uh, I've been down here at the Illinois Center for Broadcasting. I had a chance to meet a lot of the students, to talk to the classes, to take a tour of the facilities, and I have to tell you, this is one of the finest places that you could go to learn what you need to do for the craft of broadcasting. They teach it to you all. You learn about uh, camera work, uh, shooting, editing, uh, writing. It's all here, and in this day and age, you need to know all of them to succeed in this business, and there's not a better place to do it than right here at the Illinois Center for Broadcasting. It's a great facility. Check it out.